The coffee industry has always been beset with issues, particularly pests and diseases, but also increasingly threats from climate change. So one of the changes that we've seen even over the last 120, 150 years is a shift from Arabica uh, to Arabica and Robusta cultivation. Now looking forward, we're likely to see other species being used uh, to sustain production. And that's what we're really focusing on here at Kew. So although we only consume two species, there are in fact another 122 species that grow across Africa, Madagascar, Asia and Australasia. If we go back to the late 1800s, uh, early uh, 1900s, what we see is a, an immense interest in wild coffees. And one of the coffees that really grabbed people's attention was the Highland Coffee of Sierra Leone. Now today this coffee is somewhat of a, an enigma, often called a lost coffee because nobody's seen it for so long. But the interesting thing about the Highland Coffee of Sierra Leone is that it's meant to have an amazing flavour and it will grow in lowland environments, in places where you're not really able to grow uh, Arabica coffee. So at the end of last year, we actually went to Sierra Leone um, to look for this lost coffee. We went to uh, this last known locality, which is a, a highland forest in the middle of Sierra Leone. And to our surprise, we actually found Coffea stenophylla. There was only one problem, we only found a single plant. Now, um, having a single plant of coffee is like having a female panda in a zoo. Uh, it needs a mate. So although we found a plant, actually we can't use it to produce coffee. So we sat down again with our in-country partners and we decided to look at a forest area further east towards Liberia. So we, we travelled there, um, spent some days talking to uh, people on the ground and we walked for uh, several hours until we got to a spot that was high enough um, to find this coffee and we found it. It was there and in good numbers this time. So now we have rediscovered this lost coffee but also secured the material uh, to develop it further into possibly a new coffee crop species.